Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just me showing you all some things that I've been doing to play around in my composition notebook. Um, some of the things that I added since the last time I showed it was August. You can't really see the A, um, but it's A-U-G and then September and then I put the year just in case it goes into October or November, which I'm pretty sure it will. Um, and as I told you all before, I really wanted to just play in it and do some things um, and just see if I would like to use something like this for a full month or three months, um, however much will hold in it. So I added, I'm not sure of the last time, Oh, excuse me. I'm not sure if the last time you all saw it, I added these in. But I put in a September calendar. I was going to do the events right here, but I decided not to. And I was going to use this as like a sticky board, dashboard kind of thing. Um, and so I did like a weekly task for that week, a list for us. Uh, my surgery. I've been playing around with some layouts. And here I just did some notes. I listened to Dr. Charles Stanley and his message about a healthy body. And then I did a prayer on the side. And so what I did in the middle was cut cut the metal up well not a lot i glued um two of the pieces together but i essentially just cut it and i wanted to create like a weeks sort of thing um because i do enjoy the weeks oh excuse me now all of a sudden i'm doing all the yawning um i i enjoy the weeks it's just i wish it was a little bit bigger which is why I initially cut down um, my journal notebook that is this size. It's a regular graph notebook, and I cut it down. So at first, I didn't have anything here. Today, I added the list um, of things that I need to get. And uh, I can actually cross these off because I ordered those from Target. The only thing I didn't get from the Dollar Tree was the Twix. And I didn't get what I needed from the dispensary. Um, as you all can see, and I've mentioned before, that I was going to have surgery on my thumb um, uh, ligament reconstruction. And they ended up taking a part of my tendon to reconstruct it with because it, was, it wasn't enough of my own tissue to do it. So pain has been exceptional. Wow. Um, the first two days, I had it Tuesday, and today is Saturday night, and I don't know when I will get this video, possibly by Monday, but the pain is definitely subsiding some. Um, the first two days were horrible, and I really don't like taking medication. And I know this is like a whole sidebar to what I did the video for. But um, I don't really like taking medication. And um, I have used, I have gone to the dispensary before, but I've had a hard time finding like a good match. Um, and I'll be honest, sometimes you go to the dispensary and you get something and it is good to either help you sleep or um, let you be chill. But this is a good mix. It's 100% CBD and 100% THC. And it's like a tincture. And it is amazing. Um, I initially got it, I would say, about a couple of weeks before the surgery. Just to see if it would work. I had seen a video where another person that had the same surgery as I did, she used CBD. And I have had... A horrible run around with CBD. Um, I have yet to find any that have actually worked. Um, and this, I decided to try it. Um, a mixture. She only used the CBD and she said it worked wonders for her and her hand. Um, I use the THC one. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. I keep yawning. Uh, I used the, the CBD and the THC and it worked perfectly to the point where I do have to get some more of it um, because I use, I'm, I have chronic pain, but I typically don't take anything for it unless I'm in a flare up with my joints because no pain medicine really works. Um, but this works perfectly. I know sad notes. I n in no way getting paid for this at all um but i just want to mention it if you're a person that struggles with chronic pain but don't like taking narcotics or anything like that um they did give me some control meds i'm really not comfortable with taking those um and this worked good i'll admit the first two days i was taking the control meds um toward all <laughs> and um this because it was extreme i mean it was extreme um and typically the nerve block they did a nerve block and typically it would last 24 12 to 24 hours they say it can wear off a little bit earlier and mine wore off fairly quickly all the other videos that i watched on youtube um, with people with the same surgery it wore off like 12 hours and to the point where when i left the nurse said, oh, you know, skip taking it in the afternoon and just take the night um, dosage so that way you get, like, ahead of the pain and, you know, you won't be woken up by it. Man, I went in at 545. I would say the surgery is done at around 9. Um, and by the time I got home, it was 11. At 130, I was woken up with the pain, and it was extreme. So... Needless to say, um, I prefer to go this method because it's a lot more natural than um, the control meds. So, yeah. And back to the video. <laughs> uh, I put that down because I know sometimes people read lists and read what's on your paper. And I know it has like this smiley face by it. So, I just want to go a little bit into detail with it. Um, but this is what I wanted to show you guys right here. So... Um, this gives me a, a little bit more room um, than the Hobonichi would give me. And the stickers that I used were from the Dollar Tree. Even the washi tape was from the Dollar Tree. This sticker was the only one that wasn't. Um, and I just did like a quick like layout. Just trying to see if I liked it and... Um, I will more than likely do it again. So I just did a list up here, did it here, and then I had started, I initially started a list, a shopping list back here, but luckily these are things that are always staple, so they can stay there. I like the space that I had. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I like the space that I had in here because... I felt like I, for once, I, whenever I'm in the Hobonichi weeks, I feel the need to fill up the page. I do not know why. I don't know if, um, I don't know if it's the color of the paper that makes me want to do it or I'm not sure. Um, but whenever I'm in the weeks, I feel like I have to fill out the whole sheet and put like all these things in here. This I felt like I used very minimal stickers. Um, I added in the numbers to the dates myself. A lot of stamping was done. Just a simple to-do list and then who to call. I think that's like most important that I would need on here. Um, and the purpose of me trying this out is because I was debating for 2024 my everyday carry if I wanted to cut down a a typical composition notebook like this cut it down and make it this size and just make this my everyday carry because I can adjust it to how I need to and essentially it's a lot cheaper um, my 2021 everyday carry I wanted it to be pretty much just strictly functional like I really didn't want to add um, stickers in here but I'm so addicted to them I couldn't what I did do first was I did the stamping. I added in the things that I needed to added to needed to be added, and then then I placed the stickers and versus to what you typically see me do on my weekly spread. Um, typically on my weekly setup, I put 
and position the stickers already and then I then work around what I've already laid down. So going into 2024, that's something that I think I will be revisiting because I'm not sure how well that method is working for me with putting the stickers down first and then working around it. I guess if I knew um, what type of week I was having, whether it was busy or not. But because I work quite a bit, um, I think this is good for everyday carry. It's cheap. It didn't take me long to do it. I got a chance to use my stickers, the functional stickers as well, and I loved it. I think if, if you're somebody who is looking for something that is more minimal or um, just um, more affordable, I think this is a good way to go. Even if you chose to do this halfway through um, your notebook and then use the rest of the pages as full pages, I am so sorry. I do not know why I'm yawning so much. Um, because I haven't gotten any sleep. The last three nights, the last two nights, I would say, and this is even with the control meds, the last two nights, I have gone to bed at like 4 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock, because I just couldn't go to sleep. So um, maybe it's all catching up to me now. But I like it. I see it. I'm going to play around with it again. This notebook um, clearly is a everything notebook and it's a place that I wanted to be able to try some things but also be able to keep it in here just in case I want to refer back to the layout and how I did it. So I hope you guys like this. Let me know if this is something that you already do, if you've done it before or if you would think about doing it in the future. And I love this sticker set from the Dollar Tree because it's only um, $125. And was it even 125? I had this for a while, so I'm gonna guess it was just a dollar. I still have quite a few more in the set, a lot more in the set actually. So I can spread this and utilize it in other um, setups as well. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for commenting. I love the comments because um, I think it's good to like share what we find. And one comment that um, I got from um, someone actually attached a video and it was so helpful to me. So um, definitely leave any comments or anything. Let me know how you feel about this layout. Um, I One thing I said, you know, if I do choose to do my own everyday carry and set it up, that would mean I would have to be proactive in doing it and not procrastinating where I'm going into a week and missing. That would mean I would have to print out all calendars that adjust to the size if this is the size that I'm going to use or even if I'm going to keep the notebook large. So that's something I'm still thinking about. Um, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.